Hey my fire babies, it's Sunny Ovi and I'm here to do your weekly for the week of July 12th through the um, 18th, 2020. <laughs> Sorry that I'm doing y'all's reading a bit late. Keep in mind that these are general the things that I talk about when I resonate with you, should be okay. And if you are interested in a personal reading, please check out the description bar below because my information is there. This coming with my readings, I do talk fast, I do curse, and due to me reading for a lot of different energies, my readings can be pretty jumpy. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely do that. Click that notification bell so you can see whenever I upload. And also comment, like, and share, darling. Alright, so, y'all, this is my second time recording y'all's video. I'm not going to lie, I feel, I feel kind of spaced out, kind of dull. Um, with me being a Leo rising, um, I'm not sure if I'm feeling the energy, because once again, I'm Leo rising. Or, um... I'm just going through my own personal hangups. Not really sure. <laughs> but um, off the gate, I do see where some of you, you may be a bit down and or disappointed with, okay, with how things were. So some of you, like you may be thinking about, um, you know, your mistakes or things that you went through in the past. And I feel like it's causing for some of you to be kind of down in the dumps okay spirit wants you to understand the word forgiveness and they want you to take that word very seriously this week because this is going to be very significant and important for you during this time especially if you're going through a bit of a, an emotional roller coaster um spirit wants you to understand that forgiveness goes both ways you must forgive yourself and you must forgive others as well um and if someone isn't ready to forgive you for something that has happened um spirit is just like whatever either give that person time or just leave it alone like <laughs> i just feel like spirit like they're kind of tired of you all um either being ashamed or constantly thinking about the past or either making the same mistakes um spirit is just like we're we're giving you leeway right now um we're trying to give you reasons for you to be hopeful but you're kind of fucking it up again um spirit does not want you to be selfish in this moment we want you to understand the principle and we want you to understand the beginning hopefully that makes sense um maybe for some of you you are starting a new chapter and like this is you know your time to um start over or maybe um a blessing came into your life and you know the spirit just wants you to do things right this time okay all right but let's see what's going on for my fire signs uh which consists of uh aries leo sagittarius let's see what's going on for y'all this week okay um, I keep picking up on the word tight rope with this card and oh my god who did I say this for I believe I said this for the earth signs last week I said something about a tight rope so maybe for some of you you may be dealing with an earth sign um, or you have earth sign within your chart um, maybe spirit is letting you know like okay it's time for you to move differently or to move securely is what I'm picking up when you are in tight situations so maybe for some of you um this week um or maybe some of you experienced this last week keep in mind that these are generals um if you find yourself going through a difficult time this week or like you may be penny pinching this week or money may be really tight Spirit wants you to understand that this is a karmic lesson and they want you to understand that in the spiritual realm you are going through a difficult time as well. Okay. Spirit is saying we want you to connect with your higher self. We want you to connect with your spirit self, <laughs> however you want to um, say it, in order for you to understand where you're heading and who you really are as a person. Um, I feel like this will be a very meaningful time for some of you to do some soul searching. Okay. Um, some of you, um, okay, Spirit is saying, be aware of you going in the rabbit hole, and you will take that how you want to. Maybe for some of you, um, there may be a particular topic that pops up. Um, okay, let's, example, um, like the dark web. Maybe, uh, you find yourself 
browsing the dark web or you hear about uh, some things that's being uh, exposed in the dark in the dark not the dark world I'm sorry I'm kind of like all over the place y'all or maybe something is being exposed in the um the dark web black mac uh, black uh, market uh, maybe for some of you uh, spirit wants you to be cautious of you dabbing into um, black magic okay um, for some reason it is it's something in regards to the dark either the subconscious once again uh, the secrets something is coming to the light okay or once again spirit they want you to understand something that's hurting you something that's bothering you this will be a good time for you to work with your chakras or um to do some reiki cleansing to do uh just cleansing of the self uh, understanding your soul that's going to be very important okay maybe for some of you you, you will find yourself connecting with people on like level okay um i feel like this week is going to be very deep okay and it can be deep in a bad way or deep in a good way it just really depends upon which direction of the rabbit hole you want to go into okay um i am picking up that some of you you may receive a letter during this time uh so, something coming into the mail whether this in, rather this is in regards to a bill um this may be uh so, something in regards to court um some of you you may be getting into stocks uh, you're getting into like the, I keep I keep picking up on like stock market. I'm so sorry, y'all, that I'm like kind of out of it. Like when I was connecting with y'all, like I just felt just down. Okay, um, maybe spirit wants you to come back down to earth and wants you to understand reality. Maybe for some of you, you will get a reality check this week okay i am picking up for some of you 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 will be aware of differences during this time maybe you aren't agreeing with someone um and maybe you guys need to understand that you must agree to disagree during this time um i just keep picking up on secrets like something is coming up uh, a door is being opened but I, i'm also picking up that some of you like you need to be cautious of either uh the black web um black magic um I, I i don't know like I, I just feel like there's something behind the darkness and like maybe like some of y'all like you just need to be aware of what's going to come up maybe for some of you like if you have been healing and if you have been like working with your chakras um maybe so, some gonna come out your closet in the spiritual sense and it's like you have to deal with it maybe you're dealing with someone else's demons or you know negative emotions once again there's something is coming up that's dark and it's like you have to deal with it um maybe for some of you uh this will be a good time for you to uh do spells during the new moon cycle okay um for some of you um i am picking up that you are in the dirt and you will start to bud and grow into a flower and you can take that how you want to um some of you you may be going through a dark time for a reason and it's like you must understand your strength you must understand your growth uh some of you this will be a very good time for you to connect with your ancestors maybe your ancestors are, are giving you very um very deep messages all right maybe you're understanding your family history maybe your ancestors or your angels are showing you what your bloodline went through all right um Honey, once again, maybe for some of you, like, you're understanding your demons and you're connecting with your demons. Maybe you're working with demons, all right? Um, it can be what it is, honey. Um, okay. I am picking up that some of you, you are working very hard at something. But just make sure that you're paying attention to, to the details. When I was saying that... <coughs> out of nowhere my throat is acting funny now so maybe for some of you there's something that you need to get out of your system maybe you need to work with your throat chakra maybe there's something that you need to speak up about i keep picking up on secrets okay maybe um a taurus will come to you uh with a secret okay um maybe for some of you like you just need to get out of darkness and i find that very interesting how i started talking about like letting stuff out and like you know speaking your truth 
my throat is not hurting anymore so um i do feel like this week is going to be very tough i do when it comes to like once again like secrets and things being in the dark um maybe for some of you you need to be careful of evil eye someone may be trying to send darkness your way uh be cautious of karma during this time as well um i, I feel that some of you like you need to be careful of you going into something and it's like either you don't have the experience or you aren't aware of what you're putting yourself into okay so whatever you do this week just make sure it's like you are aware of what you're getting into okay don't do not go into something blindly spirit is saying be cautious of who you trust this week as well um i i'm also seeing where some of you like you may have to fight the battle on your own and you and you need to be okay with that to be honest but just understand that spirit is giving you messages once again they're helping you um I am picking up that spirit is fighting for you or you need to fight for yourself. You need to, you know, pick yourself back up again, okay? But just make sure that you aren't doing it from ego. Like, you're you're really trying to pick yourself up back. Oh, Lordy, I'm sorry. You're really trying to pick yourself back up again because you really do not want to experience hell in the physical realm again. Okay, maybe some of you you're you're getting out of this hell, all right, and and maybe um, negative forces who don't want you to extend yourself. Maybe you know they're trying to pull you back. So you may find yourself very emotional. Um, you may find yourself going in and out of depression. Maybe you're having negative thoughts. You know, maybe one day you're good, and then the next, you know, once again, like you're depressed, or you you may find that you're very drained and just. Like you don't really want to do anything or like you you get really discouraged um continue to fight the battle for some of you spirit is um suggesting that you take um a spiritual bath and coconut milk and salt okay um take this for seven days uh seven nights um if you want to uh this will help build back up your um your spiritual immune system is what i'm being told um some of you you need to be mindful of your tone be mindful of your vibration and the frequency that you are displaying to others and the spiritual realm um i am picking up for some of you you may be very sensitive during this time maybe emotionally sensitive or spiritually sensitive and it's like you just know when something isn't right um maybe spirit is alerting you uh through your dreams okay um maybe for some of you like you may be very fearful of something um and it's like you're dreaming about it or like you're constantly thinking about it uh spirit wants you to not live in fear okay um i keep hearing uh the phrase uh, be in the moment speak in the moment so if if something once again if something does not settle right with you let it be known um and and also be comfortable with yourself this week and also this month spirit wants you to be comfortable with yourself this month and this week once again um okay even though some of you you may be experiencing hell or you have experienced hell spirit is saying there's a light at the end of the tunnel we're giving you hardship just to see how you handle it one but also, we want you to believe in yourself. Maybe for some of you, you lost you lost yourself, or like you you lost faith in yourself, or you know you lost faith in a situation, whatever the case may be. And it's like spirit just want you guys to believe in you again. Um, I'm also picking up for some of you. This may be a difficult time for relationships. I am picking up on secret lovers or. Um, like uh, the truth about cheating is coming to the light. I'm also picking up for some of you. Um, you know your relationship may be hard, uh, or okay, your relationship may be very draining for you, and you may want to call it quits during this time. Yeah, um, maybe for some of you, you feel as if your partner doesn't have your back, um, or you don't see stability with your partner during this time. And if you are single, um, 
You want someone who's passionate about you. You want someone who will respect you and believe in you. You want someone who will give you butterflies. And it's not temporary. Like, you want to feel stable with someone. But I'm also picking up for some of you. If you are having issues with love, whether you're single or in a relationship, Spirit is saying your ego has affected the relationship or your partner's ego has affected the relationship. So some of you, you need to get an, a better understanding of your ego and why your ego has its chest pumped out <laughs> every now and every now and then. Okay. Um, I feel like this week is going to be... Um, I don't know why I just keep picking up on like this spiritual tune. Um, or it's like spirit is really working with you. Or either you need to understand yourself spiritually. Now, honey, if you are new to working with spirits, deities, demons, um, or like if you want to um, enhance your psychic gifts, whatever the case may be, spirit is saying like, the spiritual world, yes, it is similar to the physical world, but it's just as dangerous as the physical world as well. So it's like you must be prepared for what you may go through um, if you want to dive into the spiritual realm or if you, um, once again, like if, if you want to enhance your spiritual gifts. Sorry, my nails are, have like ink in them, so don't judge me. <laughs> but um, but yeah, um, Lord, going back to that, maybe for some of you, um, maybe for some of you, you are kind of picky, or you may be judgmental when it comes to what your spirit is telling you. Maybe you don't really trust your own intuition, or you don't trust what your spirits are telling you. Um, and they can be very frustrated with you. So your spirits may be very petty with you during this week as well. So if you find yourself having a bit of bad luck, um, spirit is saying that's us. <laughs> but going back into like um, the, the whole spiritual thing, like you connecting with spirits. So like you um, wanting to enhance your intuition. Um, or maybe if like you're reading for other people, spirit is just like prepare yourself. Um, protect yourself. But when you are protecting yourself, don't be afraid of what's coming at you. Like, we want you to see what's coming at you. Don't hide from it. Because nine times out of ten, the thing that's trying to attack you is not as strong as you think it is. All right? Um, and also, spirit wants you to be strong in your weakest moments. Um... Maybe for some of you, you've forgotten about spirit. You've forgotten that they were there. And, you know, maybe spirit is kind of giving you a reminder that they're still there for you. All right. Um, spirit is showing me a stop sign. So maybe for some of you, like, you need to stop and think. Or you need to stop and smell the roses. Maybe for some of you, you need to uh, incorporate roses during this time. Um, or, you know, just, just really be mentally strong and spiritually strong. Um, I, I feel like this week is going to be very spiritual. Very, very spiritual. Um, and also, don't be afraid of your gifts. Like, if you're a medium, don't be afraid of that. I'm just going to talk about me for a bit. When I was younger, um, I used to see spirits as as if they were humans. But just in the spiritual form. Um, and I remember I told God, like, I didn't want to see that anymore. And i just rather see them in my head. And it's like now that I'm getting older, like, God is just like, okay, we, we got what you was trying to do back then, but now we want you to do this. And so, you know, I, I had to get comfortable with seeing spirits again, um, you know. So, yeah. So, once again, just don't be afraid of your gifts. It can be very intimidating, but um, it's very powerful and refreshing and very meaningful to be honest so um enjoy the ride love you forgive yourself forgive others understand what's coming at you whether it's good or bad and stand 10 toes down for real for real so yeah but hopefully you guys enjoyed this long ass message hopefully it made sense good luck with everything and i should see you guys next week take care